Welcome to Math and Meditation. Today we are going to <coughs> look at the second part of uh, the 10 times 10 multiplication table. But before we start, we are going to take a moment to relax our mind and body so that we are more open and receptive for the math. What we are going to do is we are going to Find a comfortable position, straighten up our spine. If we are sitting in a chair, put our feet flat on the floor and just place the arms wherever they are comfortable. The first thing that we are going to imagine is that our body is completely filled up with clear water. And we're going to open up tiny little holes on our big toes so that the water can gradually leak out. And what we're going to imagine is that any stored tension, anything that's bothering us in our body, is going to wash out with the water. So the water is going to drip out very gradually and while we're uh, paying attention to the surface level of the water as it drops within our body, we're going to take deep breaths. So during our first down breath, the surface level of the water sinks from the top of our head down to our neck. So we take in the deep breath. and we let it go now when the service level is down to your neck during the next, next out breath we follow the surface level as it sinks down to our chest take in a deep breath And we let it go. During our next out breath, the surface level of the water reaches down to our stomach. So we take in the deep breath. And we follow the surface level. During the next out breath, the surface level of the water reaches down to our hips. So we take in the deep breath and we let it go. During the next out breath, the surface level of the water with all the tension that's stored in our body it's just being washed out with the water during our next out breath the water level reaches our knees so we take in a deep breath and we let it go and during our next out breath the water level reaches down to our ankles. So we take in a deep breath. And we let it go. And finally, during our last deep breath, the rest of the water slips out through our big toes. Take in a deep breath. And we let it go. Now, with a slightly more <coughs> relaxed body and mind, 
we return our attention back to the mathematics. All right, so we're left with those 36 numbers, and we're going to start out uh, with a two times table. So um, I claim that we don't need to memorize the two times table for the following reason. Um, let's cut here to get the right color. So uh, we have that two times four is the same as four plus four, which is eight. Two times seven is the same as seven plus seven, which is 14. And two times nine is equal to nine plus nine, which is 18. So in other words, if we know how to add together two numbers, we don't need to memorize the two times table. So uh, the 36 numbers that we had have uh, dropped down to 28. Now that means that we're left with uh, those 28 numbers. Now, at this point, I would like for us to memorize something. And uh, we're gonna pick the five times table uh, for the following two reasons. First of all, I think it's easy to remember. And second of all, it's kind of in the middle, and uh, as will become clear later in this video, we can work our way out from that. So uh, what we need to remember, I will color here in red. Like that. So we need to remember that 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 5 is 20, 5 times 5 is 25, 6 times 5 is 30. 7 times 5 is 35, 8 times 5 is 40, and 9 times 5 is 45. Now, uh, once we have this, I claim that we can easily calculate anything in the 6 times table. And the reason for that is because 6 times anything, let's say 6 times 7, is the same thing as 5 times 7 plus 7. So 6 times 7 is just adding up 7 6 times. So that's the same as adding up 7 5 times and then adding 7. But 5 times 7 is in the 5 times table that we already memorized. So that's 35 plus 7, which is equal to 42. So once again, uh, only by adding two numbers and knowing our five times table, we can get any number in the six times table. Let's try another one. Let's try six uh, times four. This is the same as five times four plus four. Five times four is 20 plus four. So 6 times 4 is 24. Now this trick holds for the 6 times table. So at this point we can wipe out anything that's in the 6 times table. So we can take this one out, this one out, this one out, this one, all the way up to here. Now we can do the same trick for the 4 times table. Uh, for the following reason. So 4 times 6 is the same as 5 times 6 minus 6. So this is adding up 6 4 times, whereas this is adding up 6 5 times and then taking one off. So leaving us with 4 times 6. But now we know our 5 times table, so that's 5 times 6 is 30, minus 
6. So we get 24. Which is actually what we had figured out before, so maybe not the best number, but uh, let's try another one. Let's try uh, 4 times 7. So 4 times 7 is equal to 5 times 7 minus 7, which is equal to 35 minus 7, which is equal to 28. And we can do the same with uh, 4 times 8 and so forth. So 4 times 8 is equal to um, 5 times 8 minus 8, which is 5 times 8 is 40, 5 times the table that we already memorized, minus 8. So that's equal to 30. Now this means that we can uh, wipe out anything that's in the 4 times table. So that's this one here, 4 times 3, 4 times 4, 4 times 7, 4 times 8, and 4 times 9. Now, furthermore, I claim that we can use the same trick for the 9 times table. Uh, we can use the fact that we know the 10 times table. So uh, let's start with uh, 9 times 3. So 9 times 3 is the same as 10 times 3 minus 3, which is 30 minus 3, which is 27. We can do the same for 9 times 7, for example. So 9 times 7 is equal to 10 times 7 minus 7. So that's 70 minus 7, which is the same as 63. Um, Let's do one more. So 9 times 9 is equal to uh, 10 times 9 minus 9. So 90 minus 9, which is equal to 81. Now that means that we can wipe out anything that has 9 in it. Now we have uh, six more things to memorize. Um, I suggest that we memorize three of them and then use addition to get the other ones. So in other words, I suggest that we memorize seven times seven is 49, eight times eight is 64 and 8 times 7 is 56. But I have a neat trick to remember that uh, 7 times 8 is 56. If we write that in the reverse order, so 56 is equal to 7 times 8. So 7 times 8 is equal to 56. So the memory here is 5, 6, 7, 8. So if we just remember to uh, arrange them in this order, 5, 6, 7, 8, we can always remember that 56 is the same as 7 times 8. Now for the 3 times table, we can just add things up 3 times. So 3 times 3 is 9, it's just 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. Same with 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is 7 plus 7 plus 7, which is 21. And 8 times 3 is 8 plus 8 plus 8, which is 24. So what we've done here is that we've taken the 100 equations that we need to memorize in the beginning, 
We've taken out the ones that are very easy and we don't really need to memorize. And we've brought the number of equations that we need to memorize from 100 down to, so we have uh, in the five times table, we have uh, two, four, six, seven, and then we have seven times seven, eight times seven, and eight times eight, which is three. So we have 10, uh, things that we actually need to memorize and that's not too hard so uh, thank you for joining us for math and meditation day I hope you will join us again in the future thanks